for cooperatives i propose to set up a separate administrative structure for them so the third pillar of atmanirbhar bharat inclusive development for aspirational india honorable speaker sir under this pillar i will cover agriculture and allied sectors farmers welfare and rural india migrant workers and labor and financial inclusion agriculture our government is committed to the welfare of farmers the msp regime has undergone a sea change to assure price that is at least 1.5 times the cost of production across all commodities the procurement has also continued to increase at a steady pace this has resulted in increase in payment to farmers substantially in case in case of wheat a total amount paid to farmers in 2013-14 honorable speaker sir honorable speaker sir the data that i give now is important for all honorable members to kindly hear in case of wheat the total amount paid to farmers in 2013-14 was 33874 crores in 2019-20 it was 62802 crores and even better honorable speaker in 2020-2021 this amount paid to farmers was 75060 crores Honorable speaker again an important fact the number of wheat growing farmers that were benefited increased in 2020-21 to 43.36 lakh compared to compared to 35.57 lakhs in 2019-20 that much of an increase within one year for paddy again an important data for paddy the amount paid in 2013-14 was 63928 crores in 2019-20 this increased to 141930 crores even better even better in 2020 2021 this is further this in 2020-21 in 2020-21 this is further estimated and i'm saying this is further estimated because the procurement is ongoing and therefore i can't give you the final figure this is further estimated to increase to 172752 crores the number of farmers benefited increased from 1.24 crores in 2019-20 to 1.54 crores in 2020-21 in the same way honorable speaker sir in the case of pulses the amount paid in 2013-14 was 236 crores in 2019-20 this was increased to 8285 crores now now in 2021 it is at 10530 crores more than 40 times increase from 2013-14 the receipts to cotton farmers cotton farmers have seen a stupendous increase from 90 crores in 2013-14 to 25974 crores 
in i am giving you data as of 27th january 2021 this is bound to increase from 90 crores for cotton farmers in 2013-14 to 25974 crores in 2021 all the details in complete narration is available in annex 4 to my speech early this year honorable prime minister had launched the swamitva scheme under this a record of rights is being given to property owners in villages up till now about 1.80 lakh property owners in 1241 villages have been provided cards i propose during 2122 to extend this to cover all states and union territories to provide adequate credit to our farmers i have enhanced the agricultural credit target to 16.5 lakh crores in this year we will focus on ensuring increased credit flow to animal husbandry pashupalan dairy and to matsyakar to the fisheries we are enhancing the allocation to the rural infrastructure development fund from 30000 crores to 40000 crores the micro irrigation fund with a corpus of 5000 crores has been created under nabard i propose to double it by augmenting it by another 5000 crores to boost value addition in agriculture and allied products and they export the scope of operation green scheme that is presently applicable to only tomatoes onions and potatoes will be enlarged to include 22 perishable crops around 1.68 lakh crore farmers around 1.68 crore farmers are registered and 1.14 lakh crores of rupees trade value has been carried out through e nams the national agricultural market keeping in view the transparency and the competitiveness that e nam has brought into the agricultural market thousand more mandis will be integrated with e nam honorable speaker sir with all this the agricultural infrastructure fund would be made available to the apmcs for augmenting their infrastructure facilities fisheries i am proposing substantial in 